Hello, I'm Lou Westray for CNET here at the launch of the HTC One. We're going to take a look at some of this phone's software treats as well as some of the new features of HTC Sense 5.0. Let's see what's new. All right, so in terms of new software, the first thing to talk about is what HTC is calling Blink Feed. Now, when you unlock the phone, as I've just done, it's what you see here. It's this mosaic style, tiled, very colorful, very brightly colored uh, list of news stories, social feeds. This thing pulls in from news sites, including CNET. It also pulls in Facebook updates, things like that. The idea being that right on your home screen, you've got very, very quick access to a couple of news stories that you're going to want to read if you're just looking at things in a hurry. This is very customizable as well. You can see if I tap just here, I can choose the topics and services that I want. So here are individual news sources. Uh, if I pop over to categories, if you're interested in design or gaming or music, then you can choose to have those things populating your Blink feed. Happily, when you pop into one of these, it doesn't take you to the browser. Instead, it opens it here. The bad news is that HTC told me that these things won't cache offline, so you will need an internet connection to read these stories, at least for now. If you want to share a story, there are a host of options at your disposal, including Dropbox, email, Google+, or Twitter. If you hold down on the Home button for a moment, then it takes you to a Google search. This might be Google Now once the phone gets a software update. You can actually use the HTC One as an infrared remote control. When you send a signal to your TV, you'll see this red flash at the top, which lets you know the signal's been sent. Finally, let's talk a little bit about HTC's Zoe camera. So the Zoe camera takes burst mode photos so that you can select the best of a series of stills from a short video. But once you go into the actual gallery itself, you get this rather interesting view here. So if I tap the event of today, you can see all of the photos and videos that were taken today mashed up into one 30 second video. The editing happens automatically and it looks quite fun and it creates a clip that you could very, very quickly share to Facebook. Imagine something like Apple's iMovie but with very little effort on your part. If you're familiar with the app Flipboard then there'll be no surprises here but I do like what HTC's done and I do think this is quite an attractive interface. Hopefully it won't be something that you want to delete straight away and it will actually keep you entertained in those moments of boredom. Even when you're looking at Blink Feed, you get access to key Android apps along the bottom here via this launcher. And if you swipe to the right, then you get a home screen and it all starts to look a bit more like the Android that you're probably used to. The app interface has been given a bit of a redesign as well. You can see HTC's famous weather widget now has a minimalist monochrome style. And these apps look a little bit more spaced out than they did previously. Something that's bound to rock the world of Android fans around the world is that HTC has ditched one of the touch sensitive keys from underneath the screen. So on the right here you have a home button, on the other side you have back, but HTC has ditched the multitasking key. So how do you multitask now? Well, it's not too much trickier. You have to double tap this home button and that brings up a list of your most recently used apps. If you hold down on the home button for a second, you get access to a Google search. Okay, there you have it. Those are the most interesting new software features with this phone. I'm Luke Westray for CNET, and this guy is the HTC One.